Today I can stand here Amen. and just honor the Lord yes. with all that's within me and just give him thanks. Thank yes. you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. I hear a little humming. Me too. Charles. Amen. Just Amen. pull out one and two and see what's going on. I mean, just see what's... Just pull out some and then pull them back in. Amen. And, when, and, and again, I'm grateful today for those that are here. Go ahead, Natasha. We have Frankie, Victoria, Patrick, uh, Pastor Patrick, Silas, uh, Amen. Shamble. God bless you guys. You Amen. Love God, bless you. God bless you. Frankie Morales. Frankie Morales. Amen. God bless you, Frankie. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. All those watching us, I hope you continue to watch us. God has given me a Amen. word today, and I want to encourage you, and that's my main purpose, right? Deacon Nina is to come here and to give thanks to the Lord and, and for what he's Amen. already done in our life and continue to work on that, what he called us to do. Amen. Amen. Which is to share the gospel, the love of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. And those that are now, I'll give you the title of my message. Some of you will see it on your screens already. Amen. Am I close up on that? Amen. Uh, okay. The message is love, truth, and devotion. Amen? Amen. Yes. Love, truth, and devotion. Amen. And I'm just grateful today. Again, so grateful because, you know, sometimes, I'm, like I'm always saying, is we look back at our lives and say, thank you, Lord, for where we were at 
and, and especially where we're at today. Amen? Because in order to appreciate life and love and grow, you got to go through things in life. Amen? And we learn and we get wisdom and we get power and understanding. Amen? And even though today so many things are going uh, uh, wrong today that we see on the earth, but there are also so many good things that are happening as we all stand together in love. Amen. Amen. I love preaching about love because that to me is the word of God. Amen. 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 Dorothy Hazelwood. Who? Dorothy Hazelwood. Dorothy, God bless you, Dorothy. Amen. And to let some of you know, yesterday, uh, well, let me just, uh, before I get started on that, let me just say, uh, I think the number is 2,700 that have passed away with this coronavirus. Amen. And, you know, uh, we all watching the news and we know the election is coming up. I don't like to talk about that, but I just want to share this. Most, what I want to share is that so many lives have been lost and so many things are happening in the world today. And we got to pray and, and, and uh, the Bible says to uh, weep with those that are weeping as even when we rejoice with those that we rejoice. So we weep with those family members that have lost so many loved ones. And we're just, you know, uh, sad about that, you know, uh, and, and our hearts are, are, are hurting right now. And I know it's a rough time and there's so much confusion and so many things, but it's important that we look towards the heaven for where do we get our strength, where do we get our peace is to acknowledge God in, 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 in our lives and, and not only acknowledge Him and praise Him, but also to encourage and build one another, my brothers and sisters, because we're here for a short time. And when someone passes away, uh, you know, no matter how much we can preach, no matter how much we talk about this and that, it hurts, amen, because they're part of you. You have a love connection. You have a relationship, amen. And uh, that's how God is. He wants us to, to realize that, that uh, we have a relationship with him through his son, Jesus, that he loved us so much that he sent his son. Amen. And you've heard that, but to acknowledge that is true. Amen. 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 Uh, Miriam Ramos. Miriam, God bless you. Miriam and Ocal, I love you. Amen. But I just want to say yesterday, I'm so proud to say we celebrated our our uh, 22 anniversary service of uh, me and my wife of, of being together. Thank you for the comments of those that have shared so many comments on, on that. I appreciate it, amen, so much. It means a lot to me and Natasha, and I'm so grateful. And, and, and I was looking at the picture I put up of us when we were dating and, <laughs> and uh, how we met, and, and I was just thinking of all those things, and you know, where we, we met in the house of God, amen. And we still here in the house of God, amen. ministering the gospel as we ministered, both of us at that time, in worship and praise, amen. And God has used Natasha, Pastor Natasha, so many times, and I'm just grateful. See, God looks out for us, amen, and he puts the right person in our lives when we devote our lives to him. That's why my message is about love, truth and devotion amen and devotion what it really means is loyalty amen that's what it means being loyal to each other most of all as god has been loyal to us we're to be loyal to each other amen even jesus said do as i do he was loyal to us amen to his disciples amen that's the way we're supposed to be i was sharing with my wife as we were driving to church amen to loving studio rather to Love Wings Ministry Studio, we were driving up, and I was just sharing with her, and, uh, you know, we look at the news, we see all this division and hate and all this negativity that's been going on for so many years, and I was just sharing, I remember the times when we, our moms, and I'm pretty sure all of you remember, and grandma, when we used to have those Sunday a supper, you know, after service, you would go to the, those that are serving the Lord, would go to uh, a grandma's house or mom would cook up a big dinner on Sunday. And just a Thanksgiving dinner, it was like every Sunday. And, 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 and during the week, amen, and family was so close. Everybody moved together. I remember everybody 
My mother used to have a building and it had three floors and my sisters lived there. I lived there and of course I was a baby at the time, but uh, the whole family lived together and, and we had cousins and I mean cousins and uncles and everybody would be around the neighborhood and be at the house all the time. And we had that family environment, that love, caring for one another, building that and we knew everybody's need, amen, because we were that close. And we shared with each other the truth, amen. And, and we talked about what was happening in their marriages or with their children. And it became a family thing that we looked out for each other, amen. So uh, when we needed help, the family was always there. But through the years, we seemed to lose that, amen. amen. We seemed to lose that. Uh, you know, everybody moves away, this one moving over there. Some could even live in the same neighborhood, amen, and don't even visit each other anymore. And it's sad because I said, you know, not that, that, that you know, we to look at, 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 like I'm always sharing at our past to bring us into our future, but also, too, we got to remember those basic elements of what we were taught when we were children, to care for one another to love one another, to speak truth to one another, amen, and being there for one another, that when someone's in need, then he had to act because the family already knew, amen, and everybody got together and did something about it. But today we seem to lose those basic principles that to me are the most important in life, amen. Yes. Loyalty, again, devotion, loyalty to one another and truth, and most of all, love, because that only can come when we love one another, encouraging yes. one another. And that's what the world needs today, is love and truth and devotion. Yes. Amen. To everyone. Amen. Regardless of who they are or where they're from. We need to be devoted to one another. That if we see a need, we're to be there. To share the truth with each other. Not lie to one another. And it's so sad. And I wish sometimes, I pray that we can go back to those, those times that were uh, engraved into our lives when we were children. Amen. To love and to care for one another. Amen. Amen. Let's go to first, I mean, uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. And it says, so God created what? Man in his image. I'm going to be talking about marriage also, but I want to talk about this also, that what that marriage means. Amen. But it says that, so God created man in his image, in the image of God. And he created what? Male and female. And God did what? Bless them. Amen. He blessed them. So what was that? That he created, but he was also loyal that he blessed, amen, he blessed them, amen. amen. And he said to have dominion over the earth and everything in it. And I keep saying those things because it's, it's true. Amen. You know that every child of God, not only that we know that we read this in the scripture, but it says also, and I've said this before, that every child of God has a responsibility to strengthen his or her relationship with the Lord. And devoting themselves, amen, into an intimate, right, time of worship, amen. amen. And what is worship, fellow, and time of worship, and what? Fellowship. Yes. And these are what I'm trying to talk about, fellowship. What is fellowship? It's talking, amen, you can write that down. Praying, amen, and worshiping, amen. Again, talking, praying, and what? Worshiping. Right? With God. Amen. And, and a life filled with what? With the spirit that will allow us to be what? Bold and effective and, and having received an assurance of what? Of his guidance. Amen. And wisdom. But most of all, trustworthiness. Amen. Trustworthiness and love. And what? And we find that where? In his word. Amen. Yes. You know, there's some that say, I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in this. And, but you know what? All this in the Bible, it's about love. It's about truth. And, and what has been said there from back in the day has manifested today. Amen. Amen. 
Regardless of what you believe or not, God has inspired man, and we have a spirit, soul, and body. I've said that before. But God has inspired us to know the truth. Amen. And the truth is what, what sets us free from doubts. Amen. From being confused because God is not a God of confusion, but God is a God of power, of love, of truth. And what? Of loyalty. Amen. He said, you be loyal to me, I'll be loyal to you. And this is what I'm talking about. Back in the day, we had that in our family. Loyalty. Caring for one another. Being there through whatever storms came, we knitted together. Amen. I remember my mom, uh, and, and, and we used to live in Brooklyn on Stroud Street, and she owned that So Even the guy on the corner, amen, that had a drinking problem would come into our house, and my mother would feed them. Amen. And make sure, and even wash people's clothes. What happened today? You wouldn't even see that. Amen. You see a, a someone that's down and out, you, what they do? They walk on the other side. Amen. Walk right by them. There's no love. There's no truth. There's no fellowship. That's right. Amen. I remember my mom doing that, and I even questioned her when I was about seven, eight. Why is this guy here? I know him from this corner. And she said, you know what? We're to show love and compassion to everyone. And you know what? That is still in me still to today. Amen. That what I've learned in the past, I've learned to apply it into my life. Amen. Going back to those basic elements of what? Loving and caring and, and being devoted and, and, and loyal to, to one another, especially to God's word. Amen. To have the good Samaritan spirit, as the scriptures say. Amen. Somebody all agree with me. Amen. We know that in Ephesians, because it's a, it's, it's a partnership that comes. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Who has it wants to read it? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Amen. Husbands, mm -hmm. love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. Amen. Simple, right? For husbands, this means love your wife just as Christ has loved the church and he gave up his life for her. Amen. Amen. That's a powerful statement, but it's the truth. How much more loyalty than one to, to and it continues on that verse down and says to, for someone to lay his life down for a friend. Amen. Amen. We forgot those basic principles that are so important, especially today, what we need. All we hear today is division, yeah. backbiting, negativity that's in the air, and we think it's okay to continue in that realm because everybody else is doing it. Let's do the same. And that is so contrary to what love is, to what loyalty is, and to what truth is. And that's my perspective on that. And I'm saying this from my heart, that we need to get back to those basic foundations of love. Loving one another, caring for one another, speaking the truth to each other. Amen. It's like a marriage. Amen. God created man and woman. Amen. Uh, to form a family, to instill that what the, the, uh, the, that what he had said into their children, amen, and to grow and to multiply, but to multiply in love and in truth and in devotion to one another, amen, amen. and he says, right, and he, and he says it here on the word also, for husbands, this means love your wives as you love, as just as Christ has loved the church, so he was a great example for us. And I pray that we can come back into our senses, amen, and to go back to those basic principles of going back and remember those times when the family were together. Not to say that everybody was right, amen, some of us needed help, but the thing is that, you know what, you had people there to help you. Today, you go through something and everybody just walks away from you, amen. <laughs> Is that the truth? Am I speaking truth here? Say amen with y'all if y'all agree with me. Yeah. Amen. 
It's, it's the truth. People walk away from you. You make a mistake, they walk away from you. Back in the day, family, they, oh yeah, they get on you. Amen. And, and I remember that <laughs> uh, when you did something wrong in school, not only you got it from the teacher, by the time you got home, people that knew you or a friend, they'd give it to you too. Amen. And when you got home, you got it again because everybody was concerned about you. Today we don't have that. Amen. Every man's for himself. Mm. Amen. Help us, Amen. Lord. Somebody read me 1 John chapter 4, 16. And then Ephesians, somebody else read me Ephesians 4, verse 2. Amen. Again, love. Why can't we go back to those friends? That's what we need to be more focused on. Amen. And that's why I continue to preach and share what God has given me and has always been love to encourage and to build up. Not that I'm perfect, but every day I get a little better. Amen? Amen. As I continue to apply that word into my life and into my family. I'm so grateful that, you know, I can stand here today. I've been through a lot in my life, and but here I'm 22 years and one day today. Amen. 22 years in a day. And uh, we've been through thick and thin, me and my wife, and and, 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 and not because we've been saved. We've been saved uh, since we were younger than, than that. But to say that we've been through so much, but we learn to be devoted to one another, to speak truth to one another, and to continue to do God's work in our lives. Amen. Uh, and, and to share the love of God that God has instilled in us, that has kept our marriage. Amen. And has helped us to be good stewards to teach our children. Amen. You see what I'm saying? And, and staying together and our families. Amen. And, and being not just by talking the talk, but by walking the walk in our lives through the years that we still are standing for what? For the love and the truth and the devotion and the loyalty of God's presence in our lives. Amen. 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 Who has it? First John chapter 4 verse 16. And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. Mm -hmm. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Amen. Amen. It says, and, and, and again, I'll read it in my version. It says, and, and so we know and rely on what? The love of God. Amen. Amen. Has for who? For us. Amen. God is love. Whoever, it says again, whoever lives in love lives in God and God in who? In them. Amen. So again, God is love. We say that. But we got to live in that love. See, for that to manifest, we got to live in that love, not just speak it, but show it and walk it. Amen. Yes. And who has Ephesians 4, verse 2? Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Amen. Again, be what? Completely humble and gentle. And be in patience and bearing with one another. Now, do we find that in today's? <laughs> Are many out there being completely humble <laughs> and gentle and being patient, <laughs> amen, and bearing with you or me, amen, <laughs> in love, amen. We don't even find that as, as sad to say, but I said I'm going to speak the truth, nothing but the truth. So we got even in our own families, amen, amen somebody, amen. in our natural families and friendships. There's no longer that word of humbleness so much, amen. Not to say that everyone, let me not say that, let me take that back. What I meant to say is that's what we all need. Imagine if everybody in the world would just humble themselves and be gentle and be patient and bearing with one another in love, how the world would be today. This is what I'm talking about as our families, as our grandmas and grand. I know I remember I used to do to my grandmother, <laughs> and she still was humble and patient with me, and she bared with my nonsense, amen. Why? Why did she do all that? Because she loved me, amen. 
and my mom, my mom was that was instilled from my grandma into my mom. And then I, I, I realized that not just by talking to talk Charles, but by seeing that brother that was out there, no matter, nobody really asked him, why are you out there drinking on that corner? Nobody asked him about his past of what he's been through. You see what I'm saying? Nobody took the time to be what? Humble and patient and to share with him and say, what's wrong? Because everybody has a story. Amen. Everybody's been through something. Not just me. You Amen. out there and, and, and those around us. And sometimes uh, we just say that they're just weak. or they, No, you don't know what that person's been through. Right. Amen. Or what has happened in their lives. The Bible tells us what? To be patient, humble, and to care for people. Amen. Yes. To show the love of God. Now, if we say we love God and God is in us, then we have to show the love that God is in us to share with others because that's what God expects us to do is to what? To share the love. To me, it's that simple. This, You know what I'm saying? We're so worried about ourselves and what we want and, and, and not realizing that God said, and we tend to forget that he gives us the desires of our hearts when we follow his commandments. To me, it's that easy to explain it. That that's, see, and I've learned that in my life. That's why we sometimes we gotta prefer others before ourselves. Yeah. Yes. Because as we do that, he grants us those desires because we're following the scriptures. Amen. 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 The commandments that he's given us is to love, to care, to be again, what? Completely humble and gentle, to be patient, bearing with one another in love. Yes. Amen. 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 You know. And not to say I'm perfect, because none of us are. We're trying to, amen. But as long as we stay in the Word and we apply it, we learn, amen. Again, if you fall down, you get up. And we've been hurt, just like you've been hurt. And sometimes you got to separate yourself from among those things because you try your best to do what you got to do, but some people would just not do it. So sometimes you just got to put it in God's hand. And I understand that. But also, too, let us talk. Let us be patient with one another. Let us yes. listen to one another instead of just pointing fingers today. Amen. You know, let us be humble, as the Bible says, and going back to, to that and being patient with one another as we were patient with our family, as we're patient with our children. We're to share that with everyone. Amen. Somebody else got it? Sean. Who? Sean. Hey, Sean. God bless you. My nephew, amen. When, uh, again, also, couples who wish to what? To show their devotion to each other. I'm talking about marriage and others, amen. Couples to show their what? Devotion, right? Uh, I'm sorry. Couples who, who wish to show their devotion to each other, amen, and their faith, right? And, turn, and they turn where? To the Bible. Amen. That's what me and Natasha have turned to. Amen. The Bible. Amen. The word of love. Amen. Of God. Of love. For who? For us. And that's every day. Amen. Write that down if you want. Couples. Amen. Or anyone. Let me put that also. Who wish to show their devotion to each other. Amen. To family. To, to those that want. Uh, to anyone. Or a friend. Amen. To show devotion their faith turns where? Where do they turn to? To the Bible. To the word of love. Amen. And of God's love for us. And that's every day. Amen. What sustains me and doesn't get me angry like I used to? Or just put, it's the, you know, the word of God that arises within me. Amen. Which is the Holy Spirit to remind me not to do something negative, but to do something positive. Amen. Which is to, instead of uh, pointing fingers, to open up my hand and, 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 and to reach out. Amen. We're ready to point fingers, but what we need to do most of all is to stand our hand and reach out. Yes, amen. And have an ear to listen. Amen. As we listen to the Holy Spirit, listen to why whatever situation that person is in, that God has put in your path. Yes. And be able to encourage and to build them up, showing what? The love of God. And that's what sustained us in our marriage, amen, and sustained us in this ministry, <laughs> amen. 
to no matter what has been done to us, we learn to stand in love, in truth, and most of all, devoting ourselves to God's plan, number one. God's plan in our lives and to share the gospel. Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Devotion, amen. We must be devoted to one another as we do in marriages. The air up, uh, anybody did the air? Yes. Oh, okay, amen. I mean down, that's what I meant to say. Who has it? Romans chapter 12, verse 10. And it says, be devoted to one another in love. Mm -hmm. Honor one another above yourselves. Amen. Simple, right? Write that verse down, Romans 12, 10. Be devoted to one another. In love, amen, honoring one another above yourself. Amen. amen. That's what we need. I mean, that says it all to me right there. Amen. That we need to be devoted to one another. Love one. Just as our parents, just as our grandparents have shown us and, and has uh, 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 illustrated uh, not only by words, but by action. Amen. But back in the day, that's what we need today. That's what will change the world. Amen. And especially now with all this negativity that just has come up. Amen. But we know that the Bible is always saying that evilness, uh, which is the, as we call Satan, has raised his ugly head to see who he can devour, to put that seed, amen, uh, uh, or to destroy, let me rather, let me put it this way, to destroy the seed that God has put in us to love one another, to kill that seed and to have hate and to be selfish. Amen. Amen. To be selfish, to be untruthful, to be unloyal. Amen. To each other. Amen. Because we're to do, God says, as you do unto me, do to each other is the opposite of what God expects us to do in our life. And it's the opposite, if you want to know that they don't believe, is in good. Being good and leaving evil. The Bible says cling on to what is good and run from what is evil. Amen. It is that simple. Amen. I miss my mom. I miss those times. Amen. Even as we were driving up. And I know that I'm touching your heart by saying that. Because we remember, all of us, what we went through when we were ch children. And we try to show that. We should be an example to, 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 to show that, uh, that same love, that same devotion, that same truth into our children. That it would go from generation to generation. But the enemy's out there trying to destroy the generation. Amen, somebody. And that's why it hurts my heart all the time that I hear all these negative things that are happening in the world today. People are dying. Everybody's blaming somebody else. Nobody wants to speak the truth. Everybody's blaming this one, blaming where they need to. It's instead of pointing the finger this way, it's to point the finger this way. Amen. Point the finger this way. Amen. Again, Romans 12, 10, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above what? Yourself. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Somebody read me chapter 4. Verse 4, rather. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. And it reads, and five. I'm sorry, love, going to... love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Amen. Thank God that God has a heart. Speak in the tongues of men or of angels. That. <laughs> I just said to my. <laughs> that. That God, that God is, is patient with us. Amen. Amen. He doesn't hold anything when we make mistakes and he loves us. Just as you remember back then in our grandparents, in our moms and dads. Amen. Amen. Back in the day. Imagine they would have held everything that we did. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Amen. 
Let me read it out of the complete Jewish Bible. Amen. It says, love is patient and kind, not jealous, not boasting, not proud, not rude or selfish. Amen. Not easily angered and keeps no record of wrong. In the NIV, I like the way it just says, I'm going to say one verse. It says, the Bible says that, uh, in, in verse 5, it says that it does not dishonor others. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. And what we got today, pointing the finger at everybody else. Amen. Dishonoring people. That's not of God. That is the enemy. That is Satan. Amen, somebody. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let me continue. You know, it, 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 I, I love studying them because I, I love to get a different perspective or the same verse, but revelation. But not just the revelation of it, but the realness of the word. Because sometimes you can't put words together or you see things, you're trying to figure out what it is. But when you read the word of God, it enlightens you. It shows you exactly what it is. And it shows you the truth, what to do and what not to do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what to do and what not to do. Also, the Bible has a lot to say about uh, bonds. Amen. Of what? Of love and of devotion. Amen. Love is always speak of a, a perfect love that everyone should have towards what? Their family, right? Their friends, and to mankind. Not to mention, amen, the Lord Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Is that the truth? The Bible has a lot to say about this. It's about love and devotion. Amen. Amen. That's why I said, you know, I'm grateful. Devotion and love. I, I thank God for my wife being devoted to me and, and being there for me. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, as she sees it to me, but many see it. Amen? Amen? You see, it's not just talking the talk, it's walking the walk. And I honor my wife today because I say, I made a lot of mistakes, but she was devoted to me. She took my good with my bad. Amen? And kept me as I did with her. Amen? It works both ways, but a bond of what? Of love that kept us together and devotion and love and speaking of perfect love that everyone should be towards their family and friends and mankind, not to mention our Lord, like I said, Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, those three intimates that things that have us. Amen. And that's why I was thinking today is love, being truthful to one another, and devoted to one another. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that has taught us that through His Word. Again, love, right, truth, and devotion. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. I'll never Amen. leave you nor forsake you. John 15, verse 12, it says, above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Amen? Amen? A multitude of sins. John chapter 15, verse 12. Again, talks about what? Love. Above all, love each other deeply. That's from the inner inner. That's from your heart. Amen. Within a man's heart, within a woman's heart. Amen. Will manifest out of your life that others will see. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Also, someone in the, I'm sorry, and in the Jewish Bible, and it's also in the English Standard Version and the NIV, is a basic same quote. Again, John 15, 12 says, and this is my commandment. And John, and again, in the Jewish Bible, the English Standard Version, and the NIV, it says basically the same thing in that verse. Verse 12 says that, and this is what my commandment that you keep loving each other just as I love you. Wow. Just as I love you. No more 
No one has a greater love, let me say that, than a person who has laid down, we read that in verse 13, it says, a person who has laid down his life for his friend. Verse 14, you are my friend. If you do what I command you, verse 15, I will no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is about. But I have called you friend because everything I have heard from my father, I have made known to you, to me. Amen. That's in the Jewish Bible complete uh, in uh, John 15, verse 12, on down to 6. Oh, hold on, I forgot, 16. <laughs> it says, 16, and you have not chosen me. I chose you, and I have commissioned you to go, amen, and to bear fruits, fruits, fruits that will last so that whatever you ask from the Father in my name, he will give you. Amen? Amen. And verse 17, this is what I have commanded you. Keep, again, loving each other. Amen. Keep loving each other. Oh, hallelujah. That's what God expects from us. That's what the Bible says. That's what God has inspired man to write, that we could continue to live in those basic principles. Yes. And to me, again, it's always been love and the truth. Not only that we to be truthful with those around us, but before we can be truthful to anyone, we gotta be truthful to each other. To, to ourselves. Amen. Because once you're truthful to yourself, then you can speak the truth. Amen. Amen. You know? That's why the Bible says before you start pointing finger blaming somebody else, take that out of take out of your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the truth? Yeah. Take it out of your eyes before you start blaming someone. In the Bible we learn today to be what? Humble and patient. With people, one another. That's what he's talking about. With those individuals that you meet. And it says also in the Bible to have an ear to listen. Be quiet. Uh, be quick. To, I forget how it went. Be quick to be silent and be quick to hear. Amen. In other words. Amen. Stop pointing fingers. Let us remind ourselves. Let us go back. I'm always saying we can go back to help us to go into our future and to our generations and generations. And it's important that we realize that what was instilled in us from back in the day should be. Even as I was watching this documentary on television, it was sharing about the United States of America, how it was back in the day, the principles of what it was all about, of caring not only for the United States, but for the world. Being unison with the world. Amen. Being our brother's keeper. Amen. Amen. Sharing love. Never hate. Hate only brings what? Division, right? Amen. It brings death. A death that is a hole where Satan abides. Amen into our very lives, amen, if we allow it. God said to love. God says also, choose this day who you're going to serve. I'm being straightforward to you today because I think of all the things that are happening that we're to be concerned about. We're not just to point fingers or to take sides, but to, to apply those things that have been instilled in us as we were children to care for one another, to lay our lives, how many have laid their lives down for us to be able to be here today? Amen. How many have died 
and how many have been sent to death for the wrong reasons? It's sad. It's sad, my brothers and sisters, and I'm just being truthful and, 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 and concerned about what's happening, not only in my own personal life, but in every life. Because as we read today, that we're to care for everyone, to mankind. Everything that's happening in this world today is to care and to love each other. Amen. And that is the greatest commandment that God has taught us that we've learned and we've learned through our families. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 and I want to share it. In the English Standard Version it says, so now faith, hope, and love abide these three, but the greatest of these is what? Love. The greatest of these is love. Again, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, in the English Standard Version. So now, faith, hope, and love abide in these three. But the greatest of all this it's love. Amen. Amen. We could have faith and we could hope for things. But in order, the most important one of all of them, as the word says, is love. Because love accomplishes all those things. See, because when you love someone, you become truthful. When you love someone, you share your life with them. Amen. You're devoted to one another. See, love has to be the center that holds everything together. That's what I'm trying to say. It's love holds everything together. And again, I pray and I ask the Lord to forgive me all the time. I examine myself. I've said this before every day. Maybe I have had hurt done to me in the past and you, and you, you know, I'm being truthful today and as I am every day with my life, as I examine myself, they can hurt you. And they put up walls against others. Amen? And you feel like you can't forgive them. But the Bible says to forgive them no matter what. Because if we don't forgive them, then we put a dividing wall between his forgiveness and, I, and, and us. Amen? And his love. And I, and I said, I'm not going to allow that. So again, I say to everyone out there, I love everyone. I forgive everyone. And I hope you forgive me. Amen? And, uh, and I know that people don't have to agree all the time with each other, but one thing we have to agree on is to show the love of God and to prefer one another and not take advantage of one another, not point fingers at one another, not to talk negative things about one another, but always talk encouraging things about one another. And I know that we all fall short, for the Bible says that we all fall short in some sin. But see, the thing is, the more that we apply the word and we start uh, 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 planting water into that seed of love that's within us, it would grow. Amen. And that's what I pray today, that everything that I've said, everything that I have shared today has ministered to you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. And I'm just so grateful. Amen. Uh, again, I just want to say blessings to everyone that's out there. Again, I thank you. Uh, keep us in your prayers, amen, as we continue to pray for you. And again, uh, we love you, amen, and me and Natasha and all of us here at Love Week Ministry Studio. And we thank you for so grateful. I give a shout out to Full Gospel Tag, when I call, amen, all those brothers and sisters that have had our backs, amen, and always there and still has our back to continue to work. A shout out to Pastor Carlos and Maggie and uh, Papa Keegan and uh, Irene, Mama Irene and and all those that are out there, and uh, Giovanni and Maria Pinto, I thank God for you and all my brothers and sisters out there. Amen. I don't mention everybody. Damn, I'll be up there. But Carmen Ebanks, everybody that's out there, I love you guys. And we're so grateful, amen. And we're just an extension of what I was just sharing, a family, amen, coming out and sharing uh, the, and, and still connected to one another. And my family and Natasha's family, great blessings upon them, amen. Uh, all those that are out there, we love you. 
And uh, we're so grateful again. And we're just standing here doing what God has called us today. And I hope that what I've said today has uh, re uh, put uh, that memory back into your mind to remember how mom and pop used to, uh, and grandma and pop, those that were fortunate to have a father at that time, uh, what they instill in us about family, to love, to care for one another, to be devoted to one another, and to be devoted to uh, to friends and, 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 and mankind. Amen. And that's the scriptures today. Let us again, if I want to leave you with anything, is that, that let us learn to love, be devoted, and true, and be truthful to each other, and devote each other, and be loyalty in every area. Amen. And let us bind and loose the enemy here on this earth. For the Bible says, whatever we bind and loose on earth shall be bound and loose in heaven when we say the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. And we mean that sincerely. I do here, and all of us here at Love Weeks Ministry Studio. Again, I want to thank uh, Pastor Jackson and those we were able to bless the uh, Redeem Love Church. Amen. Of God. Uh, uh, we were there last Sunday, and uh, those that are watching on the video, and so that God gave us an opportunity to be there. I send blessing to my brothers and sisters out there also in Redeem uh, uh, um, Love Church of God. Amen. <laughs> Pastor Jackson. Amen. And he's a great man of God also. And I pray for every pastor that's out there, every uh, leader that's working with those uh, that God has put in you. Let us learn to tr to love one another. Let the church come together. Let us love. Let us walk in truth. And let us be devoted to what God has called us all to do. Again, God bless you. And uh, from Pastor Benny here and Love Wings Ministry Studio, uh, we love you. And everybody says, Amen. 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 amen and amen. amen. God bless you. Amen.